Okay, so now that we have a new hard drive added to our system and we have a, a partition created and formatted, the next thing we need to do is to mount it. Now, if you remember, here, let me do an ls-l. Oops, let me do an ls-l for what I want, which is the root folder. Uh, we have a folder here called MNT, which is designed, it's said to fall folder for us to be able to mount things into. We don't have to. All that's required technically is a, um, is an empty folder. So let's say I wanted to create a folder in my home directory. I want to create a folder for marketing and I wanted to store marketing documents in there, but I was worried about marketing using up all of the space on my hard drive. So I wanted to give them some extra room and I want to kind of secure that a little bit. So if they fill up, you know, this additional hard drive, it doesn't actually crash my main system. So what I can do, I'm going to do an switch user here real quick. I can go into my home directory and I can make a directory for marketing. And now that is a blank folder, an empty folder. And now I can mount that drive into that folder. So I'm going to do an LSBLK, which will show me my SDB1. So second hard drive, SDB1, great. So I am going to mount, and the command is mount, dev sdb1 and it's going to be whatever you know you're actually using here i'm going to mount it to my home marketing folder and now if i do an lsblk we'll see that sdb1 is mounted to home marketing which is great because now i can go to my marketing folder and i can do whatever i want here i'm going to make a directory for project one and another one for project two and then I'm going to create an empty file so I'm just going to use touch and we're going to call it current projects and an LSL says hey look here we go we now have things here um, we have data in our folder now this is on that additional hard drive so let me show you if I LSBLK Remember, that's mounted to SDB1. So I can unmount this, and the command to unmount is U-mount. And then we don't put the drive or the partition that we want to unmount. We put the folder. So I'm U-mount home marketing. And then LSL, we see marketing. So I'm going to CD marketing. And there is nothing there. That's because it's now gone back to being an empty folder because I didn't, I unmounted my drive there. LSBLK will show us that that is not mounted. So let me go ahead and, actually, I'm not going to remount it there. Let me remove, let's say we decided that we wanted to put this in the default location rather than the marketing location. So I'm going to go to, let's just create the directory from here. MKDIR, MNT, and we're going to call this the very generic vol1. So I'm going to make my directory, and then I want to mount forward slash dev forward slash sdb1 to MNT vol1. LSBLK should confirm that, hey, it worked. Okay, so now let me see if my files are there. So I'm going to do an LSL for mount vol1 and sure enough my files and my folders are there i've now mounted that hard drive in that new location and there are all of my files now this is how we'll manually mount and unmount uh volumes which is great there is one problem with that so let me reboot my system here and we'll see that problem here in just a second so we'll reboot we'll bring this back up we had everything mounted And it was mounted to MNT vol1. So as it gets ready for me to log in, there we go. I'm going to do an ls-l forward slash MNT vol1. And there's nothing there. All of my data is gone. Why is my data gone? Let's do an ls-blk. And we're going to see, okay, I want you to see two things here. We were an S 
uh, SDB. Now we're at SDA and SDA isn't mounted. Even if it had stayed SDB, by the way, it wouldn't be mounted. So what happens is when you manually mount, it doesn't survive a reboot. Uh, so all things manually mounted, when you reboot, they go away. If you want them to reboot or to be available every time after reboot, you need to store them in the FS tab file. We're going to talk about that in our next video.